ile manja yanu and this and why guys behind there let's be of one accord i was saying that this party knows what a rough journey means resilience this party understands that this party understands losing your own party members young people praise your mother Mapenzi Chihuro, Joseph Kaunda, Lawrence Banda, and many more. This party understands that. This party has understood what it is to lose your leader just a few months before elections. That man there, Anderson Kamela Mazo. This party understands. This party has swum against the tide for many years. Yet this party understands that with all the troubles that we've gone through, we as UPND understand the importance of loving one another. Understand the importance of accommodating even those that may be vicious or may have been vicious against you. If you want to save the country, all of the people of this country, we as UPND must understand fully what it means and what it takes. So we watch our friends trying to mimic this alliance and we say, hmm, <laughs> It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Enduring these problems to form government under the most brutal regime we have ever experienced. With Tusakatwanda Lama, where people were going to bed to sleep on a mattress and a pillow full of cash. We understand that. This party understands the meaning of tolerance. This party understands that revenge is not for us. This party understands that the revenge is not for us. It's for God. Because if we had to engage in revenge on the 16th of August 2021, if I had allowed these guys here I knew in my mind that these guys have lost their friends who were killed and if I had allowed these guys to revenge on the 16th of August 2021 there would have been no country called Zambia I know the damage these guys would have done. I know. Zambia! Zambia! Because I know that these guys knew who killed their friends. I know that these guys know who was beating them in Kulimata. I know that these guys knew who was beating them at Intercity there. These guys know who was America 1, who was America 2. These guys know. Now, yes, these guys knew, know, up to now, who was operating Kamgod there. If I did not provide leadership to the annoyance of these guys, because these guys were angry against me. But I knew the consequences of their capabilities and the damage they would have done to those who did damage to them and their friends, to those who killed Mapezi, Lawrence, Joseph. They know. I knew it is the responsibility of leadership to cool the situation down. When the heat is too much, 
Any good leader must cool the environment down. So I stand here on this day as we celebrate our 60 years of independence, knowing that I alone, after our results were announced on the 16th of August, 2021, after someone resisted, we knew we had won the elections, we voted on the 12th, isn't it? Yes. By 13th of August evening, we knew we had won the election. But we were patient 13th of August, 14th of August. A lot of things happened during those days, I know. 15th of August and 16th came. If I did not act correctly, this country would have been on fire. And uh, today I stand to thank you guys for listening to that. Today I stand here to thank these women over there who suffered the most in the markets, who were chased out of marketplaces and never allowed in the markets. But yet today, because of our action, we are trading in the market side by side with the very peer people who persecuted us. That's what leadership is. I know you are angry with me, you guys. I know. I know. I also know the temptations that these alliance partners were facing every day. Why are you supporting this guy who will never be allowed to run this country, even if he wins elections? I know. They were being told this particular one. Even the ethnic issues were made normal. This Tonga chap, this one, who will never be allowed to enter State House. So why are you supporting him? Because even if he wins, he will never be allowed to enter State House. The temptations were there to these alliance partners to say, we are wasting our time. But they stood their ground. I want to thank all the alliance partners for your magnanimity, for your resilience. Because some walked away, some were enticed even to talk divisive language. And today the law has caught up with them. But they want to blame other people. They must blame themselves for breaching the law. But thank you to the Alliance Partners and the members for your love of Zambia. That's all I can call it. It was a demonstration of the love of this country. I want to thank the UPND leadership, NMC members, all our candidates then who today are councillors, Deputy mayors, mayors, members of parliament, ministers today. Because they too could have developed court feet under those circumstances. Very difficult circumstances. Nali Obuta. Nali Amuna. Nali Amuna. Nali Amuna. Nali Amuna. Nali Amuna. Representing the country, Vanda, all of you, I chose to speak this way today because I was figuring out how should I come out, how should I present myself. Now, you know that acting correctly builds a country. If you act wrongly, you destroy the country. 
So, I want to thank the people of Zambia for making this party and the alliance partners make it under impossible conditions. So today, we thank Dr. Moon and your team for your belief that this is the right group to work with even when there's so much noise in the streets from a small number of people who believe that they can do better having destroyed the country. I don't understand the mind frames of certain people. I just don't understand. I'm lost. But the MMD has made this decision to be part of the unified Zambia. I want us to clap for the MMD. Others would have said, ah, no. Drought has brought food insecurity. Drought has brought energy insecurity. You have to be a resolute individual to understand that this is a transitory period. These are challenges that come because of the way we ran the country before. We should have invested in diversified energy 15 years ago and not relied on water only. We should have invested more in our co our core resources 15, 20 years ago. We didn't make these decisions. And God has brought a drought. Colleagues, Vice President, God brought this drought, I've been talking to you about it, to wake us up to say you are living dangerously. Now, with the drought, we made a decision as a government that we will not allow any Zambian to die of hunger. And we are feeding our people under the law. Today, we are determined that through God's way, ways, as he always says, my ways are not your ways. That's God speaking. All his ways are not our ways. He teaches us things. Even bringing us the one who was beating us and killing us was God's way to show the people of Zambia who were not listening that this is not the leadership I want. That's God's way. But this drought is now going to make us more resilient. We are going to irrigate more so that we produce food. We are going to have solar, coal, clean core technologies. We are going to have wind, geothermal, electricity, so that the next time the drought comes, we'll be better prepared. That's simple. Simple as that. So we want to thank MMD again, Alliance Partners, UPND, Rank and File, for your accommodation, your tolerance. You have no choice, UPND members. If you want to build a resilient country, a strong country, a united country, you have to have big chests. You have to accommodate other citizens. God gave us only one country called Zambia, which we must all share. If you didn't accommodate others like the MMD, you are driving them away. When you drive them away, you are basically investing in divisions in the country. People drive MMD away. You kick them. You are investing in divisions in the country. What do you want? Division or unity? Unity or division? I want to see the hand of those who want the United Army. I want to see the hand of those who want the Let me teach you a slogan and do it properly. One Zambia, when I say one Zambia, you answer one nation. Tabela, when I say one nation, you answer one people. One Zambia. One nation. One Zambia. One nation. One people.
one nation, one people. Let's repeat. One Zambia, one nation, one nation, one people. One Zambia, one nation, one nation, one people. We walk the wonders path. Simple. Simple. We walk Kaunda's path. This particular part of his path of unity. There's no option to unity. There is no alternative to unity. So, what we're doing today is doing the correct thing. We had to delay today because we had to ask our national management to approve this, which we are doing today. I want to thank Dr. Mungo for your tolerance. I thought you, I'm sure you thought there's a game being played here. I have learned lessons myself, having suffered the most. You must have a big chest. You must have space for insults. Even from kids on social media. TikTok, TikTok, zero one, zero two, Insta, TikTok, TikTok. You have to have space for that. So thank you for your tolerance. That we needed to do it properly with the endorsement of the leadership. Chungwena. Where is it? Oh, you. Chungwena. Very good. That lady there knows endurance, knows suffering, knows being brutalized by PF. That one has a broken ring there. But she knows what it means to walk the path of goodness. They used to tell to me that even you, you are from this north. What are you doing there? That one. And I said, Chimel, follow your heart and your mind. There she is. There. So thank you for following your heart and your mind, doing that which is correct for the country. There is room for everybody. In the house of unity, there is room for everybody. So colleagues, let's welcome this decision of MMD, UPND, Alliance, those who have been there. The, the truth of the matter, maybe sometimes, is that Dr. Mumba is not going to replace him. Everybody has a role to play. The truth of the matter is that this alliance does not replace the vice president's role, the Republican vice president's role. Her role, her job, her contribution is already kept. All of us come in to perform our roles. I was brought up in a family where at a new time, Boys of my age, we used to share new 18 of us. 18. Mm. It's a tongue expression. When you are men, you know how to share what is there. Because everybody must take a piece. That's my message. I don't want to take your time. This is a good day. 60 years of independence. 60 years of relative unity and stability. We are one of the few countries in this region that has not experienced conflict. God loves us. God loves us. I want you to repeat. God loves us. God loves us. We love God. Dr. Mumba, your two us are straightforward. We are a God-loving group of people. We are a Christian nation. Everything we do 
God leads the way. No doubt about it. You have heard my message before that this president reinforces Zambia as a Christian nation. This president also has many friends globally, including those who believe in same-sex marriage. This president has been able to tell those friends that out of ten, we agree on eight things. Amongst the two things we don't agree with is same-sex marriage. And many would fear that if you say that, donor funding will be withdrawn. No. If we are agreed on eight things, and only two we don't agree, and this is one, because we are Christian, Christians, a Christian nation, we are Africans. Then if you break our friendship, you were never our friend. You were lying. You were not our friend. Your second request is another obvious one. Unity. If I had you right. We are exposing unity here. Without unity, we cannot achieve much. Colleagues, without unity, anything we do will not work. Conflict, instability. Now I've been serving you as your chief servant for three years. I understand even more the importance of peace, security, stability as a platform for development. I understand it more because I'm the chief shushu now. And the chief shushu. I am one who is involved in keeping, helping to keep peace and stability in other countries. When you lose peace and stability, you will not recover your country. I don't want to mention names. You know that some of the countries around we should never go that way. So you need to serve is really mandate to us. I say to this lady, Vice President, every now and then, that unity is a prerequisite to anything we want to do which is progressive. There is no option. The country has returned its normalcy after the 24th, when was the, no, no, hang on. When was the, uh, when were we so near? 21. 24th. 24th August. Is after the 24th of August. Let me remind you of that. We have brought back law and order in this country. Yes. We promised law and order, we have brought back law and order. Yes. Old habits linger on. Some people try and be able the way they behave before. You go to the intercity now. You can wear red, you can wear green, you can wear blue. No one will attack you there. This is the result of the change of government. So we can say we've delivered on that. People start one or two things, old habits, as I said, they are, but we, we count them down. We are now trading in the market. There is my friend here. Kulima Tawa. Kulichega. Kulima Tawa Iliche. Iliche. Kulipigo. Museveza Chave Guino. Kulani Museveza Guino before 24th uh, August 2021. Sikunani Magazi Moja. Sikunani Kondo Moja. Naka Kuinka City Bus Stop. Sikunani Kondo. You can take that, deliver it. Deliver it. Today, Vana Vana Ripunkala Pananda go Panda School because the Maiwa Kevanafa, the mother is dead, the father is single, orphan, double, orphan. We promise that we'll take them to school. Are they not in school today? Is there no free education today? Ten point plan, which Dr. Mumba said. One of it was law and order, to restore law and order. We are there. Another was to bring free education so that all the children of Zambia can have the opportunity to have. And is there. 
We promised that councils will be paid on time. Today, councils are paid on time. We promised that. We promised that all those who live in the constituencies, we will give CDF money equivalent to a million dollars per year to the constituents. Today, we are sitting on, next year, we are sitting on 36.1 million quarter per constituents per year, more than a million dollars. <laughs> Zambia, one, one nation, one people. I can go on. We've delivered our commitment on that. We said retirees should not wait until they retire before they get their money so that they can invest in their car house, in their car business. NAPSA, can NAPSA 20% pass with the draw? It is delivered. <laughs> I can go on. We said that all our men and women who are serving in missions in harm's way, peace missions, the bomber used to deduct 50% of their money. Mundo wali kumbondo anape guja. Iwe wangala kuna unwe government means and we present it. Aka choka mundu success prisana hape. Aka wela wajuma dala mazake 50% wazidi ya nukudi ya tu korapshi. Today, we say it as we committed. Today, we are delivering all our men and women in uniform, serving outside the country. When they return, we give them 100% of their allowance. <laughs> so, if you want to come back in 2026, go and negotiate with those soldiers that I will withdraw your 50% again. Go and negotiate with the mother who is not paying school fees. Go and negotiate with the student who is getting more bursaries now and tell them that 2026 is so I'm going to take away free education. Go and negotiate with them. Go and negotiate with the councils that when I come back, they will vote for me so that your salaries will be outstanding for 15 months. Go and talk to the councils. Zambia, go and tell the marketeer who is in MDC, who is NDC, who is NAREP, who is M4CE, who is NDD, who is UPND, and tell them that when I come back, I will chase you from the market again. Go and negotiate with them and see the answer they will give you. Go and negotiate. Go and tell Unza students that teachers are very wapa Unza. Go and tell the students that those who are getting bursaries, now bursaries will be taken away. Go and tell the students. Go and tell so many here. Guys, this is not a joke. Dr. Mumba and my dear colleagues, Mutati, Mirupi, Yasmiemba, Vice President, Ezra Ngrube, Joseph Kasonde. Mm and all these people who believe in a country that is united. When we are coming, when we come back to Alaga Irapu, we are going to start now beating you again. Yes. Out of this country and sent him to a foreign land. 
and burnt his house. So one negotiated with, with William that we burnt your house, we are coming back, we are going to burn your house again and chase you from it. There is the Gere. The Gere. Maybe a Zambia. One Zambia. One nation. One people. That a country is not a job. Let me tell you something. If we did not achieve the debt restructuring, which the colleagues acquired, the debt, the whole of the 2025 national budget would have gone to debt service. No money for free education, no money for CDF, no money for medicine, all of it. And they will still be will still have been required to find more money to pay for debt service. We have restructured the debt. A mission impossible. In three years. In three years. We have brought the dignity to this country. In three years. Dr. Mumba, the European Union had walked away seven, eight years ago, nine years ago, under PF, they had stopped budget support. This year, the European Union came back and said, the UPND and the Alliance government is doing a good job. We're coming back to support the budget. It's an endorsement that we're doing the right thing. So, Diongo Biriko Timambera, not that we're not aware, but we stay the course. We remain focused. There's a job to be done for the people of Zambia. I know you guys, all of you would have wanted to have talked. It doesn't work that way. At least you have a relative who is going to school free of charge. Otherwise, you would have been getting money to pay for your relative. You are relative. All of you, you will have a relative who is a nurse and has been employed. You have a relative who is a teacher and has been employed. You have a relative who has been employed in the army, in ZAM, in national service, in the police, yes, yes, in correctional services. That is how a country is run. And your time is coming. Your time is coming. Step by step. Step by step. If it wasn't for the drought, this year would have produced the highest quantity of maize. We asked the people to plant, they planted. I want to thank the farmers. Even slave queens have planted maize. Zambia! One Zambia! One nation! Except for the drought. We pray to God, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, our God, we pray to you, God, we have heard your message, the drought has taught us something. You have helped us through your hand to feed your people, and we'll continue doing that. Through your hand, we have brought projects, investments that will bring us more energy. Yes. And when there's another drought, we'll be better prepared. Yes. But we pray to you to give us rains. Yes. To give us rains yes. this season. Yes. So we can take care of your people. Yes. After all, we are just your agents yes. of taking care of your people. Yes. We have heard your lesson. Yes. Help us for us. Give us rains, Amen. sufficient rains, Amen. and our farmers will plant, Amen. and the yields will be high, Amen. and there will be food security now. Egypt by his own brothers. All of 
children of Jacob, but some saw their own brother. Joseph cried, Jacob cried. But when famine hit Israel, you showed the very brothers that sold him to go to Egypt and the way to go and buy food. And they found Joseph there as the prime minister in charge of distributing food. He recognized them, they did not. He looked at them, he was human. He was caught by emotion, went behind and wept and prayed to God, how do I handle this who sold me? God said, go and save them. Give them the food. Then go and ask them and through Pharaoh to bring your father and the family here, I will save you. It's the same God, you are the one we are asking to save us, give us rain. Yeah. With this prayer, I want to welcome Dr. Mumba and your team. All our last partners, there's room for you. Vice President, your space is there. Our spaces are there. Everybody's space is there. That's how great God is. I pray to ask all to have a spirit of love, spirit of tolerance, mostly spirit of hard work, so we can make our country a greater country. God bless our alliance. God bless the UPND. God bless our people. God bless our lovely country, Zambia. This is a great day. We soldier on. We shall overcome. Thank you very much. You may take your seat, please. You may take your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you all. You. One thing you must know that we are here to wait for you. In difficult times, we are still here to wait for you. Believing is important. If you lose hope, you've lost everything. Let's keep our hope high, and I can tell you that no more than two, three years from now, you will have a country totally different, but a better country. Thank you very much.